Hello Aquarius, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekly reading from the 16th until the 22nd of August. That is from the Monday until the Sunday that is coming up. Let's see. What kind of weekend you a weekend? Haha. <laughs> what kind of week are you going to be having coming in for you? Let's get the angel tarot cards out. And then we'll be able to see what is the main energy or the main theme of your week coming in. Let's have a look and see. Angel tarot deck. Okay, that is getting my attention. Let's have a look and see. The Knight of Air, but I can't let go of this card. I'm just keep on holding it so you guys get to. The Ten of Water, you got two very strong cards here. Action is getting taken possibly towards you or by you to reach what's in this, this deck, this card here. So the Knight's energy, which is the Knight of Air, is a, a card of action. It's a card of logic and thinking. And it's a card of after having made a decision about what to do, you then take the action and go in that direction. Ten of Water. Oh my goodness. Let's read about the Ten of Water. Um, a content and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. A trustworthy relationship. It could either be you or somebody. This can either represent your energy or somebody's energy that is literally looking at this Ten of Cups there and wanting to achieve something with you or you wanting to achieve something with somebody else. Uh, look what it says here. The events. Okay, first of all, intelligent. Mm -hmm. decisive, idealistic, and tireless events that occur with great speed, because this is swords energy, very fast moving energy, a time to carefully review your options and creative solutions, action happening very quickly. Let's see what this is all about, Aquarius. There could be uh, either somebody that you're with, or I feel like this is a relationship, either somebody that you're with or somebody that um you meet you have met recently that is looking at some serious long-term connection with you so let's get in here and see how are you reacting to all of this this could be a person coming towards you or it could be a connection that you are already in and uh, it's getting very very serious so let's have a look and see exactly what is going on here look at that oh my the three of pentacles mm. reach out you see, I feel there's something going on here with this night of air. There's either somebody that you're already with or somebody that meet, who will meet you or even somebody that you know that's going to try to contact you and reach out. This is three of pentacles. So just saying it, it can also indicate uh, the signing of contracts such as marriage certificates. I'm just letting you know. Let's see what's been going on here. You've got a judgment card coming up here as well. The ending of karmic situations has occurred and then you got an eight of swords coming up yeah hopeless and helpless and the nine are the spirit okay i gotta stop i gotta stop i gotta stop right there well deserved reward nine of pentacles um there is this is a connection i gotta put it out there exactly what i'm feeling and um it's a general reading so it may not resonate with everybody this is a connection this is somebody from your past um i feel that the two of you are not in this place where one is absolutely uh, hating the other person, but the connection is having problems. It's not really working. It has been stuck with this Eight of Swords being there. You may have told this person that I want to have this Ten of Cups. I want to have the Three of Pentacles, which is marriage and us being as, together as a couple. This person did not want this. So I feel like they... I don't feel like it was a complete like breakup, but I feel like there was a break that got taken between you and someone else. So there was a break that got taken. You may have said, look, if you can't be with me in this way, then I need to move on with my life. And um, I feel like this person has been away a little while. That's how I feel. I feel like there's no, um, like, you know, when you have a breakup, there's a breakup, even though you may have gone through those emotions, but I feel like there was a lot of um, unfinished business here. This person is coming back in very unexpectedly and very quickly with that Knight of Air. And they're going to talk about what lies in this Ten of Cups, which is, was the problem. Because they did not want this Ten of Cups when they were with you before. But they're coming in here telling you about the Three of Pentacles, which is serious stuff, which is commitment, long-term stability. They're coming in here saying, 
I don't want to repeat this cycle. I don't want us to be not together. And they're coming in with the Nine of Pentacles. You know, the Nine of Pentacles energy, this is a very strong card. It says somebody focusing on building a very strong foundation, as you can see. Um, the focusing on working very hard as well because before this we have the eight of pentacles so it's almost like you know the eight of pentacles is the hard work that you do and then when you get to the nine of pentacles it's the reward that you get so it tells me that they, they're really willing to work on something with you to get to a much more stable place this is very interesting dedicated energy there let's see what comes up here once the new they want a new beginning look trust the full card this person's coming back in and they're coming in here very serious. This is very serious energy and they're coming in very fast. Another card has fallen. This is the move energy and that's the energy of the movement. This is the chariot card. So they're coming in very, very quickly here with a chariot card that's also cancer. Let me get that card that fell down. What is that card that fell Let's have a look and see. Oh, look at that. Two of Wands coming in here. Very different energy from what they have come in before. The Two of Wands spread your wings. I feel like they're hoping you accept them back. Um, they're going to tell you a lot of stuff. And they want, yeah, healing begins. Wow, guys. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, this person's serious. They, they've changed. They have really changed from what they have said there. From what they had, how they have been. There has been a complete shift in their energy. The chariot card is determination um, to move forward after this kind of like a bit of a separation or a taking of a break. The, I feel like they're really asking you to allow them back into, to allow you to allow them to come back into your world. Um, they really want to move forward. And you've got a six of swords. <laughs> With this justice card being there, this is this energy of them wanting to leave the hopeless and helpless in the past which is actually very very good um this is a very very nice energy so let's go in here and have a look a little bit deeper for you guys this is a relationship that could really get back on track especially if this is what you want to happen so let's let's go deeper maybe we'll see more from you king of swords energy what do you want Aha, uh -huh. here we go. What is it that you want? Because I feel like this King of Swords is overriding the Knight of Air, which is also Swords energy. I feel like this is you. <laughs> what do you want to do? You have to make a judgment call. Kind of reminds me when the king is sitting on the throne and then people come to see the king and say, I've got this problem. Can you help me? And the king has to make a decision. Back in the old days, it's like the king wasn't just the king the king was the judge as well and the jury you know what i mean so let's see ace of swords i told you you're going to want to make a decision here you feel a bit defeated look the king is carrying that sword but it's in the reverse position i feel like you're feeling a bit defeated by this i uh, disappointed as i put the card down spirit guide is like saying disappointed disappointed about this person's behavior what do you good what are you going to do i'm so curious i you might decide to I know one thing's for sure. You might decide to walk away from this person. I know the cross watch is just going, what? I'm just picking up the cards. You know, I don't know what's under here. We're going to see. Um, I'm just saying what the cards are meaning. Okay. The eight of cups can indicate that you might want to walk away from something that did not work. There was a failure with the ace of swords being there. It can also indicate, because we've got an eight here and we've got an eight here now again. It can also indicate, it's not that you want to walk away from this person. You want to walk away from that from that hopeless and helpless energy. That is what you don't want to do. You don't want to be in a place where life is not moving, life is not growing. You want growth here, and this is what you want to experience. So let's see what this card is. What is the final say? There's a, you have to make a decision, because that's the Seven of Pentacles. That is the Seven of Pentacles. I will honestly tell you from every, and look, this is a end, there was an ending that happened, a tower card. So there was an ending that happened between you and this person. And the hermit is literally laying underneath it. Stop, Deborah. I'm just taking the next card out. And you won't believe this. The Three of Pentacles is under that one. I have to stop. I'm going to put the whole deck down. Because I'll keep taking another card out. This person is definitely coming in. You've got the Three of Pentacles twice now to talk about something very serious that involves long-term long -term stability in a relationship. There's your Seven of Pentacles. You guys have not been with each other because of the tower card, the hermit card being here. There's been a lack of communication or a distance between the two of you. Um, you remembering 
that energy here with those swords being there. And I feel like more than anything, it's not that you want to walk away from the person. You want to walk away from the situation more than anything. You don't want to be in a situation where you're hoping for stability like these two cards here. And you really want to leave that in the past and they cannot keep their word. But for all these cards to come out here with the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, this offer from them looks very genuine and a strong offer because the Three of Pentacles literally means signing of marriage documentations or contracts that provide security. You know what I mean? So this is a decision I feel like you're going to have to make as you move forward as what you are going to do. Remember just because somebody comes in here and says, I'm marrying you today, sorry about everything that I've done. If you cannot forgive them, or if you cannot accept this from them, or you cannot leave the past in the past, then I guess there is nothing they can do. Because we all feel the way that we feel. So if you feel like you're done with the situation, you just don't want to know anything about it, then you should follow what your heart is telling you. But if you feel that you should maybe try to trust this person again and see what they will do, and if it can get you a strong, stable place, then there's nothing wrong with doing that either. There is no one right way of doing anything. It's Everything is totally individual because everything on this planet, every human being is experiencing their world and their relationships very differently from everybody else. So this is totally up to you as to what you're going to do. From my point of view, what I'm telling you is I feel like this person's offer that's coming in here is genuine. Hmm. There we go. So um, thank you so much, Aquarius, for coming in here. And I'm wishing you all the best moving forward. Um, if the video resonates with you, please hit that thumbs up button. You can subscribe as well because these readings come out every Sunday. There is a short weekend reading that I do on a Friday just for a check-in over the weekend. A pick a card comes out on a Wednesday. So subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when they come out. Um, what else? If you want to follow me on one of my social medias, I'm having an absolute ball. <laughs> I'm on TikTok doing other readings, like short ones that I don't publish here on YouTube. It is so much fun. And I've been here, like, I think, for a week or two. I've got a couple of thousand views on a few of my videos. I'm like, yay! You know what I mean? It's so much fun. So you can go check it out. There's a link in the description box below. Instagram as well. You can go there and check out there as well. Um, if you do want to have a personal reading with me, even with regards to what we have been reading, Reading about here on the table contact me there is an email in the description box of this video thank you so much for watching i'm sending you my love bye